Right, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time to say the least. I think last time I filmed was maybe back in May. Um, since then, I mean, as you can probably tell, I am having another baby. I'm 37 and a half weeks now. I thought last time when I was due with Amelia, I searched YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook and everything like that for what was in people's hospital bags for what they packed for their baby. So I thought I would do my own because I really enjoyed watching other people uh, pack their hospital bag. Um, and I don't know what you're like, but like me, I like to know what kind of outfits you've got, how many outfits exactly, did you have suits, did you have a two-piece, did you have a vest under it, and when you're a first-time mum especially, you've just got no clue. So with it being my second one, I thought I know what I need to take this time and what I won't be taking, what I will be taking. So I thought whoever's in that same situation or just likes to watch what's in people's bags, then keep watching. I thought I would treat myself to a little push present, as you call them, um, and this is gonna be the baby's bag. And it's really big. Um, obviously, don't go splurging for a baby bag, guys. This is purely so I can wear it afterwards. And it's really big. So, I thought it would be perfect for the hospital, perfect for like when the baby's born to keep on using it for the nappies and when I've got the pram. And after that, it'll just be my handbag. So let's talk through what I put in the bag. And it's really, it's, it's just dead straightforward. There's probably some things I've missed that I need to put in, but we'll find that out as we go along. What I found easy when I had Amelia was to put everything um, into sandwich bags, freezer bags, Ziploc bags, whatever you want to call them. So make sure if this is what you want to do, get yourself a freezer bag. I get the large ones and a marker pen. So what I do, I've got myself three outfits for the hospital for the baby. And what I do, I put in a suit a vest, a hat, and a nappy. And then I'll write on it what's inside. So this one I've wrote outfit, nappy, and a hat. And then I thought it's handy to have it like this. And then I'll just pop it in the bag. And then my partner or the midwife or whoever you're with, your birthing partner, can just literally quickly look through your bag read what it is, take it out, and it's all there, ready to go. And I just thought that was handy. So I've done it three times. So in here I have a, I call them sleep suits, but it's a onesie. Um, a onesie, a nappy, and a vest. So there's outfit number one. Outfit number two, a onesie, a nappy, and a vest put it in the bag and then outfit number three and the same goes again and they're literally guys they're sleep suits you don't need well me personally you don't need the faff of having to put a t-shirt on a jacket on or trousers or a dress they're newborns you're tired you're in pain your heads up your ass let's be honest just get them in a onesie it's done then isn't it so there's three there I've packed, but I thought I'll pack one more for like a going home outfit. So I thought I'd just show you what I'm gonna pack in this one. You probably, well, when I had Amelia in the hospital, I didn't need three outfits. I think she had one. She was such a good baby. Um, and it was when, when we did have Amelia, it was like the hottest day of the year, it was in July. So when she come out, she was just in a nappy for ages. <laughs> And we left the hospital four hours later because it was during COVID and lockdown. They just wanted you out the hospital at the time. So 
I'm quite looking forward to this time to having the experience of actually being in a hospital and being looked after in a hospital and having a break in the hospital before we come home so anyway I'm digressing so I've got this is going to be her going home outfit or just a normal outfit it's just a little pink um, all in one with little uh, details on it my friend uh, Heather actually got me this and it was from Sainsbury's I believe but I will tell you what I've done this time round is all my outfits bar like a few of them they're all double zipped so you can zip them from the top and you can also zip them from the bottom when I had Amelia I had they were all poppers and I didn't really know any different then the poppers were fine but I've heard since Amelia how e much easier the zips are especially in the middle of the night when you're doing them changes so yeah I'll be taking this in one and then obviously underneath that she's going to need a vest so I've just got a little t-shirt vest like that and then it's got poppers underneath so I'll pack that in the sandwich bag with a nappy and then I'll pop all that in there and then write what it is for your, for my partner to just get it out the bag when I need it and that's the clothes done and then I've packed a pram suit and I've already wrote on it what it is so I don't need to get this out until we're actually going home so what I'll do I'll pop it in the outfit your going home outfit whatever it is and then I'll put this over it and then in the pram to the car so I'll just show you like what a pram suit is because I always get um confused with like the wordings of stuff I would have never have known this was called a pram suit I just call it like I don't know an overcoat I guess I don't know but this was from George uh, as the George and this is basically what it is it's just a little oversuit like that and she'll wear it going to the car. I've got hers um, in naught for three months. So it's going to look a bit big. But you need it big. Because they, their little tiny little body is going to be squashed up inside it. So that's what the pram suit is. And then what else have I got? Oh yeah. So I've put spare nappies, nappy sacks and pseudo cramp all in one bag. And I've literally, it's just a little tub of pseudo cramp there. Um, when I was in the hospital with Amelia, again, I didn't need any of this, but it's always worth having just a pack on the safe side. But I can't see why you're going to need nappy cream when they're fresh out of the womb, you know. And all I've packed is three spare nappies. Um, what else is in here? Oh, yeah, and nappy sacks. Just if the dirty nappies, put them in a nappy sack and in the bin. But the hospital are going to provide these anyway. However, it's nice to be organised. So that's literally, guys, for that's seven nappies I've packed. You don't need any more. Don't go over the top. Don't stress yourself. Just put one nappy in with one outfit. You can't go wrong. I've got just a pack of wet wipes. I like to use water wipes just simply because Amelia didn't take to any other wipe. They are a bit on the pricey side, but if it stops them from having a rash, then I'll pay the price, you know? so yeah i use water wipes i'll just take one pack of them that's all you need and i am planning on breastfeeding i did uh breastfeed with amelia as well for about nine weeks something like that and then we went on to formula but should it not work this time i have packed um an aptamil uh i've got aptamil bottles because i used these with amelia and she talked to them really well so you can get these from any supermarket, Boots, even Amazon. Uh, I just get the number one from birth infant milk and they come with all the bottles inside it ready with the milk ready to go. So you literally, you don't need to be stressing guys. Just pick yourself up one of these boxes and pop it in and away you go. So what else have I got? Hats, bibs, socks and muslin cloths in another freezer bag like so and in here guys I've literally I've just put in two bibs 
two little bibs, um, two muslin cloths and two spare hats just in case she needs them in the hospital because it's going to be, it's we're obviously in winter now so it's going to be a bit colder than what it was with Amelia. So yeah, Amelia didn't use any muslin cloths, she wasn't a sick baby, she wasn't sick for ages if I'm honest. She had that mucusy cough when we come home which nobody told us about so prepare for that one if your uh, nurses don't tell you in the hospital because that scared us. But yeah, I put two muslin cloths in just in case this one's a sicky baby, you don't know. So that's all. Two muslin cloths, two bibs, two hats. And oh yeah, I put in one pair of little socks just in case her feet are cold under her, uh, over her outfit. But I doubt she's going to be. So that's in there as well. In this one is just basically a blanket, comforter and a Hello World badge. So I've got the Hello World badge, obviously what you write on, um, a pink blanket and a little bunny comforter. And this is just to put in her cot next to me. She's not going to need any of these, I really don't think. But it'll just be nice to have a picture because I didn't get any of this with Amelia. Uh, I didn't have any of this badges, like I say, because it was lockdown. You literally had your baby and then you were had to go home so like i say four hours later of giving birth i was at home so i didn't get any of this so i've literally just put that in a bag so i can say to ben or the midwife um can you get me the the blanket comforter and the little badge out so that goes in there too and lastly i've got some little dummies they're just zero um what do you call it zero month old dummies Amelia didn't take to these, um, she she really didn't take to dummies at all, however it's handy putting them in just in case, you never know, in a little uh, sterilised pot, so I'll just pop them in, that is all literally I'm putting in this bag, I just need to readjust it, but yeah that is the baby bag, I'm not going to take anything else, I can't think of anything else right now that I need to put in there specifically for the baby. So she's all done. I need to pack my bag now so I'll do that in another video I think. And yeah we'll go from there. Good to be back and I hope this helps someone. I'm really rubbish at explaining things sometimes so I just hope you can catch my drift from what I've got in here. But please if you're ever stressed or struggling use your sandwich freezer bags whatever you want to call them with a marker pen they're just so handy less mess less fuss because you don't need that after giving birth so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and watch out for the next one of what i pack in my bag for the hospital bye